So let's open this meeting of the Unionville Historic District and Properties Commission. Um, the April, April 13, 2023. And we'll begin by approving the March 2nd, 2023 meeting minutes. Did you all have an opportunity to read them? The minutes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Noddings of heads. Great. Just a uh, point of housekeeping because Anne and Barbara are not here. Uh, so we've got three regular members, yourself, Bob, and Matt. Mm -hmm. uh, we appoint two of the alternates to fill in for Anne and Barbara. We've got uh, Kelly, Rachel, and Steve are all. So we've got all three alternates. So it's uh, your choice. I'm not sure where we were on a rotation basis. So. Okay, so um, I'm going to ask Steve and Rachel to fill in as regular members. Rachel, are you comfortable with that? Sure. Yes, great, good, all right. I do. Um, <laughs> is that yeah. it? You yeah. Good. Yeah. Great. How you doing? Good. <laughs> good. All right, Rachel and Steve then. <laughs> Thank you, Shannon. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Oh, and here's Anne. Oh, okay. So, all right, and wow, we'll here almost. All right. Hi, Ann. Hi, sorry I'm late. No problem. You're not really late. <laughs> so, um, where does that put us? So, so, we only need one alternate then. Okay, so Rachel, I'm going to take you off the regular vote. Um, and we'll ask Steve to be our our step in for this meeting. Um, all right then. With that behind us, um, the March 2nd, 2023 20, minutes, which we've all read. Can I have a motion to approve the minutes? Move. I move. Second. Thank you, Steve. A second? Second. Thank you. Um, are there any corrections or additions to the minutes? Uh, the only thing I have is that um, even though Matt was absent, he's got his uh, um, approval here of the minutes, February. February, no, it said Meyer and Zibbert will, oh. And Barbara, so, they both weren't here, right? Motion was made, but, oh. But I'm wondering, uh, I'm looking Oh, no, it looks like, all right. Oh, that's, that's, you're right. Oh, you're that's, right. That's, oh. Right. So, oh. it says Meyer and Zibbert will say. You're right. So that sentence just right. needs to come out. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Was that Bob? Bob, did you catch that? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, well done. <laughs> well done. Okay. Any other corrections or additions to the minutes? <clears throat> this is minor, but the spelling of my first name is E Y Kelly K E L O E Y. It's minor, but no. if it's official. No, it's a no, it's not minor. <laughs> Your name should be correct. Well, it, I yeah. took me a you got the last name right. That's a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Since I wasn't going to say anything, but since you were correcting, I figured you got to go in there anyway. No, yeah, well, absolutely. Up. Yeah, absolutely. Um, any other additions or corrections? No? Okay. Then um, can I have a motion? Will. Got the motion and the second, so just yeah, the motion and the, the second. Matter. So the motion would be um, with the with the changes and corrections named by the commission members. All in favor of approval, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Any nays or abstentions? None. Great. Thank you. Thanks for the close reading too. Um, all right. So then we have a public hearing for the certificate of appropriateness. 42 Cottage Street, fencing in the side and rear yard. Okay, and we need to read the legal notice into the record. So I don't know, Bob, you want to do it or do you want me to do it, the secretary? Uh, would you please? Okay, yeah. Uh, Town of Farmington, uh, Unionville Historic and Property, uh, Historic District and Properties <laughs> Commission. Notice is hereby given that the Unionville Historic District and Properties Commission will hold an online public hearing on Thursday, April 13th, uh, 2023 at 7 p.m. on the following application. Garrett McCabe application for certificate of appropriateness to install fence at 42 Cottage Street. 
At this hearing, interested persons may be heard. The link to this meeting may be found on the Town of Farmington's website, as shown on the screen. A copy of the proposal is on file in the Planning Department at Town Hall, Farmington, Connecticut, and may also be accessed on Farmington's official website, as shown on the screen. Dated at Farmington, Connecticut, March 21st, 2023, Unionville Historic District and Properties Commission, Lisa Johnson, Chair. Okay, and Garrett, I have, I want to promote you to panelists so you can control your microphone and your video if you accept. There you go. Oh, there he is. Hello, how are you? Hi, Garrett. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Good. Well, welcome. Um, so Thank this you. Is this is the public hearing for your certificate of appropriateness for the fencing in your side and rear yard. So um, know that um, the assistant planner presented this as an idea at the February meeting. So we have discussed it, but it would be very good if you could walk us through your project and what you would like to do. Sure. Um, I actually made this diagram myself. So the existing <clears throat> so the existing uh, fence in orange um, on the north side will be replaced with um, something uh, a stockade very similar to what is there now uh, and then the existing fence on the south side is actually not going to be replaced that is going to stay as is. I'm um, just going to fix it up. Um, it's in pretty good shape. <clears throat> um, the, the blue lines are going to be box wire, which is like a post, um, post and rail um, that has a black uh, squared wire uh, galvanized steel around it um, and so that will just be meeting the existing fence and actually part of the south side um, existing fence is going to be replaced by by that the green will be box wire gates so the box wire mm -hmm. will be uh, four feet high um, it is uh, cedar. Um, it's like a flat. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, that will be, yes, similar to this. Mm -hmm. um, but there will be rails in between. Mm -hmm. uh, lo long uh, horizontal rails. And the wire will be uh, black. And then the existing fence that is going to be replaced will be the, the top photo on the north side. Mm -hmm. Hi, Barbara. We do plan on leaving it um, wood at, at this time, um, and we don't have any plans to, to paint it or anything, mm. just like uh, weather. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, anything else you'd like to say about the project, Garrett? Um, sure. Um, we're mainly installing this for um, our job. Um, as there's no gate in the, uh, there's no fence in the property. And also we originally were thinking about putting it all the way towards the back of the property by the, towards the water line, but we didn't, we decided against that because we didn't want to take away from um, the the view of the stream. And so we thought it would be best to kind of cut the yard into two um, uh, for, for the, for our dog and still be able to keep the back kind of like as, as is. Um, also there won't, none of the posts will be like cemented in or anything. Um, and they will, uh, the box wire will be 
able to um, you'll be able to drop it in sections in case like um, any sort like if a tree fell down um, and any sort of uh, you know uh, tree company or ex a company need to come in to clean up or anything like that would be able to get into um, into that area. There is no cesspool. It's both town um, water and and cesspool, so there's no need for um, a cesspool to be worked on or replaced in the back or anything dug up. So we took that into consideration as well. But we still wanted to be able to um, be able to drop part of the fence in order, you know, if in case of an emergency. So it was all um, removal, removable if if required. Okay. Did you have any additional questions? Yeah, let's go um, around the table. And, um, I'll start with the the internet crew. Stephen, do you have any uh, questions? Sure. Uh, Garrett, you said there was going to be additional horizontal rails. Is that in addition to the top and the bottom horizontal rails between the posts? Um, yes. How many... How many do you think are going to be uh, laid in between? Just two. So I believe there would be four. I have um, another photo. So there'd be um, a total of four horizontal boards between each uh, post section. Yes, I believe the middle ones aren't as, as wide. Okay. okay. All right. Anne, any questions? No, looks good to me. Okay. Uh, Matt? No questions. Bob? Oh, excuse me, Bob. You're, um, I'm recused. Bob will be recusing himself from the vote. So, um, Barbara? No, I don't believe so. Okay. Uh, Rachel? No questions. Okay. And, um, pardon me. And Kelly? No questions. No questions? Okay. Um, so we'll I, just ask for public comment real quick if that's okay. Or mm -hmm. did you want to ask your question? Sorry, Lisa, I jumped right in. Do you want to I, you do your questions? I don't have any questions. Uh, thank you very much. So public comment. Let's do that now. Okay, so if anyone's called in to offer comment on the application for 42 Cottage Street, there's no one in, in with us, uh, so um, if anyone online is offering comment, please raise your hand using the feature in Zoom. You'll be acknowledged to address the commission. You're all set, Lisa, okay, no great. hands are raised. Good, and for the record then, uh, Bob Hoffman is recusing himself. He's a, a neighbor. Um, so if I could have a motion, please, to approve the Certificate of Appropriateness for 42 Cottage Street, fencing inside and rear yard. If someone could please. Can I, um, so I just want to make sure I understand who is voting then. I didn't know okay. Bob was recusing himself. So we had, uh, we Barbara have, came, but it was late. I don't know if you, do you oh, want to vote on this yeah. or you want to, okay. No, you, yeah, you, yeah, yeah I looked over it. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, all right. So I need. <laughs> Who do we need now? <laughs> I think uh, so we can leave Steve in place for Bob, I think is where this is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's getting very complex. Uh, All right. Steve Don't go any place, uh, Steve. <laughs> okay. Is that good, Shannon? No, I didn't know. So that's yeah. I know. No, I know. Idea. It's I didn't I didn't even see Barbara walk in, so it's great. Yeah. Um, came in and was familiar enough with the application to be able to vote. So that's right. fine. All right. All righty. So, uh, okay. So we have voting member. We've got Lisa, Matt. Yes. Barbara. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Lisa. Mm -hmm. And Barbara, Matt, and Steve mm -hmm. as voting members. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, oh, that's it. That's and fine. And and we got Ann also. That's the guy said Ann. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, All right. everybody. Yeah. Somebody Motion make Motion in a second. <laughs> motion. Um, did someone make the motion? Yeah, Matt. Thank I'll you. I'll second. Thank you. Um, any uh, questions?
questions, additions, or corrections to, or any further discussion needed for this application? Hearing none, all those in favor of approving the certificate of appropriateness for 42 Cottage Street, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Any nays? Abstentions? No. Okay, Garrett McCabe, your COA is approved. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I, I appreciate it. I think it'll add to the to the beauty of, of the house. I also had one uh, question. Um, the sign that we picked up for the meeting, um, how, when would you like that returned? I, we'd be happy to leave it up as long as necessary. Nope, you're fine. So after this evening, it can come down and then it can be returned at your convenience back to town hall and uh, any deposit that you left will be returned back to you when you return the sign to us. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Thanks, Garrett. Because that's, yeah, that's where he came to pick it up. Great. All right. Um, oh, moving right along, I think. Yeah, let's move right along to, although this is not a... So Shannon, maybe you'd like to describe the conditions under which this um, next subject is coming to us. Sure, and I'm not sure is that I just want me to is that is Luke or Tracy, are you on the phone? Hi, we're both here. Okay, yes. all oh, right, great. I'll do a, a um, okay, Lisa, I can do a brief synopsis uh, and then um, both Luke and Tracy Fillion are on the phone. Oh, great, um, okay. And can answer any questions, but uh, yeah, so they're, um, they're working on 1761 Farmington Avenue. Um, Carol's Ketchum's uh, former house. And I'm going to drive down here to 17. Not too far. Not too far. There we go. 1761. And last fall, um, they received a COA to do work on the porch that included replacement of the columns and the rails and spindles uh, on that front porch. And they have embarked on this project uh, now this spring. And as part of doing the work and starting to pull everything apart, have <clears throat> come to realize that the uh, decking is um, starting to rot. The frame uh, is a little bit out of whack. And Luke can speak more to that. And the lattice work along the front is also uh, starting to rot. So they are uh, looking to be able so ideally include this in the original COA or at least um, discuss with you the best um, method forward so that now that he's got this all pulled apart, um, he can hopefully continue in a somewhat linear fashion with this project. So um, Luke, do you want to add any more specifics to, to that, Luke or Tracy, actually? It, uh, what you said sounded really good to me. Um, okay. I just, you know, I just ran into a bunch of rot, you know, the, the, the flooring needs to be replaced in the lattice. And the, the frame was a little off, is that correct? It wasn't quite sitting on the gear? Yes, it's not exactly framed properly and I, and, and I, I need to frame it properly to, um, to accept this new flooring. And also, I'm assuming in order to position the columns correctly and the railing correctly, I'm assuming. Yes, correct. Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, do any of the commissioners have questions for uh, Mr. and Mrs. Fillion about the project? Uh, um. The materials that you're looking at using, Luke, if you want to just kind of yeah. go over that. Um, I, yeah, Trace, how do you pronounce that? Uh, it's <clears throat> Ariatus, Aratus. It's a PVC porch product, um, but it is used in a lot of historical homes. I did send um, Shannon the email with all of the, did you get that, Shannon? Mm -hmm. We did. Yeah, we have we the did. application and the uh, spec sheet is up on. Uh, if you're calling, you can't see the Zoom screen, um, but the it is up on the screen for everybody and it's part of the uh, the record for the meeting. Yep. 
Okay. So, okay. But that's that's the product I want to use for the floor. And then I just want to use regular lattice, uh, PVC lattice. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it, uh, pretty much put it back the way it was. Okay. Other questions, commissioners? Uh, Luke, are you doing the work yourself on this whole thing? That is correct. Big project. Well, I, my wife helps me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, Luke, uh, Steve Meyer. Hey, how you doing? Good. Hi, Tracy. Um, do they offer the lattice in a square uh, horizontal vertical option, or is it always uh, diagonal? Uh, you can buy it that way, yes. You can. I, I, I know miners doesn't. Uh, stock that right it's a special order because it's yeah. less it's less common um you often see that in the older homes the, the square um but obviously it's been done uh previously and uh it's important yeah. to have i don't think that's what was taken off though yeah the square wasn't, the square oh, they, wasn't on yeah. there originally yeah he knows that because he has a picture of it right on right now mm -hmm. right yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I wasn't uh, debating that appropriateness. I was just wondering for myself, I'm about to do a porch. Uh, <laughs> so. Of course. I want a little free advice. But I'll have to go in front of the commission as well. So, you know, I, I feel for you. Well, come on down. <laughs> if, well, they, do, they do make it. They, they do still make it and you can get it. Yeah, probably a special order. Yeah. Got it. Only here. <laughs> Any other we're questions? Fun, we're a fun bunch, right? I, I, I miss this girl. <laughs> <laughs> so you will be. I didn't. I didn't realize there were variations in uh, patterns for lattice, but you will be installing the lattice in such a way that it mimics the design of the the rotted lattice. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, but we do have a question. Um, so the original, the wrought iron railings right now, right, Luke? They're yeah. attached to the the original decking. Luke left that piece of the decking there. Mm -hmm. um, and they are wrought, wrought iron. So they are, you know, over the years, they have been rotting. I'm wondering how many, I mean, how much do we have to go through to replace that? Well, I would say that that they as do as need to be replaced. To um, if you if you do not intend to use the originals, um, if you don't feel they can be salvaged, re, you know, sanded and repainted, then the uh, what you replace them with have to mirror the same look. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we can save those. Yeah, we'll we'll try to save it then. Yeah. Yeah. I've sanded and repainted mine so many times, it's ridiculous, but it works, so. <laughs> um, uh, so are you saying then that the, that the decking is somehow not going to be the same elevation as the current decking, or did I misunderstand that? No, no, I, we were just, as I'm working there, I'm looking at it, you know, like I, the, the raw iron uh, handrail is, it's it's rusting and yeah and i was just wondering you know if i could replace it and, yeah but you know it's going to be a big deal i'll just we'll just sand it down and paint it yeah yeah and, yeah, and no it's not going to be an elevation no okay so even the roof level right you had to jack it up like well i had to jack the roof level up to get it the back where it's supposed to be uh -huh. one side was back two inches oh boy yeah the other side sagging about an inch. Actually, one side was about two and a half inches. Wow. Yeah. Commissioners, any other questions? These are the kinds oh, of projects we understand very well with older buildings. They. <laughs> How is the framing? Hmm. Uh, Under the floor. How, how is it? It's 
it's not that good. I'm going to be redoing a little bit of it. Like right now, there's only a joist in the middle, and it's like one, uh, two foot on center. But this product for this floor, it needs to be 16 inches on center. So I have to add a joist. Mm. Um, I have to take out the one in the middle and then add two joists to make it 16 inches on center. I don't know if that makes sense to you. Yeah. That sounds yeah. right. Yeah. And, then, and then one of the outer boxes it's like six inches away from the where, where the support is, where the pier is. So I'm going to take Scary. that section out and, and make it longer so it actually supports on top of the pier. Mm -hmm. It was like floating. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised wow. it stayed up that long. Wow. There's your two inch drop right there. <laughs> <laughs> Not funny though. No, I. Um, not an expert on construction at all, but just reading uh, what I received in the email, it sounds like what's there now is definitely not up to any code and is dangerous for anyone walking across it. So mm -hmm. it, it kind of, the work has to be done. Mm -hmm. um, as far as this material, I mean, you see a picture, and I'll see what it really looks like, but um, I, it's it a composite, a type of composite? Uh, yes. Um, I admit, um, I'm not really sure exactly what it's made out of. I think it could be, it's a, it looks like a composite, yeah. So it could be similar to tracks and other decking? Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. But this stuff is made for historical stuff, mm -hmm. you know, like yeah. for fortunes. Yeah, you can tell the dimensions. It. The dimensions are, are traditional, very yeah. traditional. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Do you that plan to paint the sorry. decking? Or I'm sorry. Just... Uh, no, I'm not, we're not planning on painting it. Okay. It's brown. Never paint never paint yeah. a deck. <laughs> yeah, I know. Never. I know. Well I've done it and yes. <laughs> keep doing it and it doing, looks it, like doing wood, it. But yeah. yeah. Staining is good. Rock, 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 rock. <laughs> Staining is good, but this product doesn't even it shouldn't require anything. Yeah. So does it mimic the appearance of wood, the uh, surface of it? Uh, it seems yeah. So. Yeah. 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 It's a brown um the original, the decking that was there was brown. This is a little bit lighter brown. Mm -hmm. The actual finish of it too has a has a grain look to it. Yeah, it's a wood grain. Like a pressed, it has a wood like a grain. Pressed, okay. A pressed decorative uh, application, probably. Yeah. Okay. Right. And and the upkeep will be a lot easier and less time yeah. consuming than if it was wood. Yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah. 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 Um, all right, commissioners, any other questions? So, Lisa, Shannon, what, what, I'm sorry, did someone say something? I, no? I guess my, the question that popped up was the one that was kind of posed earlier in my head and what, what could be, given that the project is underway, mm -hmm. do we have the leeway to amend, uh, sorry, I'm talking the wrong way. I'm talking to the screen and I should be talking to the phone. <laughs> Talk to Shannon, yes. <laughs> um, do same. we have any leeway mm -hmm. on the previous COA to allow mm -hmm. some of the work to move forward now? Um, the Things like the, the framing and the flooring because it's less visible and, but then have uh, the fillings proceed with the, the COA for the lattice work. Don't have the old one. Oh, COA? Yeah. I, 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 okay. So, and this is the original application that came Right. In. For the railings and the, mm -hmm. the posts. The railings, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> the spindles, and the column. And all the detail that was done. And the gutter, actually. The gutter was part of that as well. Yeah. So, in essence, the um, new world work that you're doing is going to be exactly or 
pretty much close to what you already have? Uh, yes. Oh, are you asking me or no? I Just I don't think I don't think so. I don't think so unless so the original application which we approved was replacement of columns and spindles on the front porch that are rotted to be replaced with PVC columns and replacement of gutters. Um, so Shannon, do we have latitude to um, approve the work that um, the Fillions are coming to talk about tonight or do we need to wait? Well, I think the commission has discretion given that the work has started and as with we see with many historic homes, some of these things tend to evolve and take on uh, kind of a life of their own. And given that this is all opened up and now access to the home is compromised, I think there's latitude from that standpoint. Um, and certainly because I think the, the commission has used and allowed similar products in similar locations um, from a decking material standpoint, yep. um, that I think, I don't think we would be, the commission would be outside its realm of um, authority to allow this to proceed so that the framing and the decking could be complete as presented, but then we can follow up in May with getting all this will include the decking with the lattice for the official record. Um, but I think from a, you know, a timing standpoint and trying to figure out what our, our best approach is, I, I do think the latitude is there um, in order to accommodate this, but that's my opinion. Um, but that's why it's also before all of you to discuss and see what you're comfortable with. So I believe what you're saying is that we could we could approve the work as described to go on, but that the full COA application and the hearing would be at the next meeting or the next meeting where we had 30 days. But we would we would do have the option to approve the work to go on as described this evening. Correct, and I'd recommend you know that it would be limited to the framing and the decking, and that the lattice work itself would wait until after the official COA in May. Okay. Would be my, I guess I, I think it's a reasonable compromise. Obviously the lattice work while aesthetic is not impacting the uh, ingress and egress to the home where they frame and the decking clearly are. Yep. So okay. uh, I think the latitude you know, kind of begins and ends there because it's structural component. It's the, um, you know, a, a primary in, ingress and egress to the home and the lattice, again, while nice and we do want to see it replaced, is not, doesn't fall under that same mm -hmm. level of concern. So I think that would wait then till after the COA in May. Okay. How does that, uh... Commissioners, do you have thoughts about this? Anybody have any strong feelings? I think we're mirroring that we thought already there. That's all. Yep. <clears throat> Just copying what what's already on the house. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. There is no change. Okay. Does well, anybody have be, any? There actually won't be any change that you're going to see that clearly from the street. You wouldn't even know what the decking was. Well, are you looking at it then as a like for like replacement? Yeah. You're suggesting perhaps the COA isn't even needed in May because it's such, or because the material change. I'm trying to understand. Yeah, yeah. The only thing different is the the decking underneath the decking, the, the supports underneath. The, the, the right, that spacing will function. Space, change. That's right, the thing. that's going to change, and correct. The, but the rest of it is going to be, from a visual standpoint, will be the same. Thing. Right. The material is going to change. So I didn't no. know. Yeah. I think the material change is enough of a reason for us to, I mean, we have talked about this. We have gone through seminars where we talked about different kind of decking, and we've, uh, moved in that direction uh, for good reasons. But I think because this is a material change, I think we do have to 
make sure that it um, we go through the process. Um, well, I personally would be in favor of approving the work on the decking and framing to continue as described uh, this evening. Um, we could even put that in a motion, um, but then wait for the lattice work for a, the standard traditional COA application at the May meeting. So I, I shall move. You've already read it. <laughs> okay. Can somebody second that? I second. Second. I'll second. Okay. Anybody? Um, any any other discussion? Okay. Um, all in favor of approving the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Uh, any opposed? Any abstentions? All right, then we're approved. So um, you can go ahead, uh, Mr. And Mrs. Fillion, with the, the decking and the framing, and then we'll go ahead with a, a traditional COA application for the lattice work as you've described it um, and uh, in May, and then you'll be ready to go on that. Okay, just, just so I understand correctly, I can, I can put the decking down. Yes. I could put yeah. Yeah. the columns and the railing up in my gutters. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And everything except yeah. the lattice. Yeah. Okay. That sounds good. Okay. And then really the application that, that you folks emailed to me will serve that what we need to do the notification for the May meeting. And so we'll get that. We'll do all the legal notices. You'll be getting a letter. Uh, from us because you'll need to put a sign in front of the property seven days before the May meeting. Um, but we can get that emailed over to you. And if you have questions along the way, you can reach out uh, to either myself or my my colleague uh, upon his return next week. So um, it should be fairly straightforward. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, that's the way the house is. I know this sounded a little bit funerary. I'm sorry. Um, uh, great. Yeah, that's great. Um, all right, great work, group. Um, well, then the the last item we really have on our agenda um, is the. June activity that uh, Barbara and Steve are working hard on. Um, I think Barbara and Steve are really at the point where we want, um, perhaps you um, could describe the uh, program, particularly for the new commissioners. Um, and then we're really at the point where we're ready to um, have a sign up list for commissioners to participate in this work. Um, we're probably also at the point where we want to come up with a description, which you can do, and or you could ask one of us to do, mm -hmm. to be used in publicity of some kind, because we're a couple of months away, which is great. Right. Yeah, um, we're almost there. Scary. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, so tell um, us about, uh, give us a description of the program, let us know how it's going, and then uh, tell us what we can do as individuals to uh, help out. Okay, so has everybody um, gone to the uh, pocket site on their phone? Yeah. No? Yes. Bob says no. No? So, so the, the lovely street tour that we're talking about this evening is uh, loaded to uh, pocket sites, which is an app you can download. Um, and if you search... Union bill, it'll pop up. It'll show up. Free. Um, Actually, it's, it's, free. It's, it's free right it's now. Free right now. <laughs> it's free for one tour. Right <laughs> up. Even if you don't do a search, because it sees your location and it, it pulls up the tours that are near you. Um, we we are going ahead with actually all of the properties that uh, we felt were either uh, historically or uh, architecturally significant. Uh, since just to cover uh, the properties that are in the historic district, we have to kind of walk to the end of that block anyway. 
we may as well do do all of them. And Matt has done an incredible job putting this together. Um, I did send him a bunch of changes. That's okay. <laughs> <I feel like. laughs> That's okay. <laughs> 22 properties currently loaded in. Yep. Um, I do have, I've got a couple of additional pictures that Steve and um, Barbara sent to me, and I still have to go back and mark the historic property, the ones that are actually in yeah. UHCP. And, and put the... Um, like the old code. Uh, the address. They don't all have address. Correct. Right, so we did. So I, I sent you that thing that lists, lists a bunch of different changes. But basically, it is the way it is in there. Um, I do have one question, and Steve, there is the sidewalk is only on one side of the street, correct? Well, that's where it gets confusing because it goes up the uh, west side, the left, as you're looking yeah. up uh, for uh, two thirds of the distance, and then it crosses right. between Merriman and Sanford. Uh, right, and it continues north. Yeah, yeah, on, on rather, the east side. Yeah. On the east side. Yeah. North. Yeah. So yeah. there's one cross. Um, so we, we'll probably have to change the order because you can't walk along the other side. Right. right? And, and I know that was one of the notes from the yeah. last meeting as well. Yeah. And I wasn't sure how, I wasn't sure where that cross was either, but we can do that. We can reorder to stay on the sidewalk and yeah. then we'll put notes in look left look right exactly exactly so um maybe um steve and i can do that walk again and then kind of like write down what's on which side of the street because yeah you're going to have to look across the street if somebody wants to go over and get a closer look okay it's a very busy road um, I was amazed when we did the walk how how busy it is, really. Um, you, don't have to, it's, you don't have to send notes, though. It's okay. Because when I'm in there doing it, it shows me a map, and so I can see. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Great. Yeah. Great. It doesn't it only work. It's only a phone app. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Good. I just thought if I could bring it up, yeah. I would. But, okay. Yeah. Um, also, um, a, a, another a thing I wanted to do, and that's really between Steve and me, is putting everything together in a PDF so that we can have it printed out. We wanted to have several printed copies for anyone who shows up and doesn't have a mobile phone or isn't comfortable with a mobile phone. So it would just be paper, you know, straight, regular paper copies. Um, so we should be able to do that. In color? I would I would like it in color. I mean, double sided. How many pages do we think we're at? Well, there are 22 properties, so it'd be 11 pages. Oh, I didn't know. So every property. Uh, no, so. the, because they're not all. Uh, oh, that's all true. They're not. Yeah. The, yeah, some of them are. Yeah, it's I mean, it's not. Nine. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Eight, eight okay. or ten. Anyway. Yeah. 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 Okay. I mean, yeah. We can so. Put them in the office. Yeah. So, so we um, it formatted once we get the PDF, then we yeah. can certainly print them and do, I don't know, like 10 so, copies of it or so. Are you thinking um, as groups or individually? Well, people can do it both ways. On that day, on the June 11th, between 2 and 4, we will do group tours and also encourage people to go over to the museum which will be opening, the, the Unionville Museum will be opening up its uh, display of, um, Union, of Lovely Street. No, you're... Well, that ties together nicely. Um, I have one question on that. Yeah. Um, I went on the Amistad tour in, in Farmington. Mm -hmm. And um, at different locations, they had someone speak about the you know, events that happened in this area and this area. And they talked about how... Um, you know, like have docents or... Um, could that be incorporated, an idea like that? We could do that if we had enough people who are going to do it. to being around right. on June 11th. Right. And then you wouldn't have to stop. If you did it that way, though, I wouldn't stop at every house. You'd, right. you'd probably 
you'd let folks you'd let folks know about the self-guided tour, and maybe we stop. Maybe it's then we're only stopping at the. How, how many of the properties are? We have there are five. Five. Yeah. So, we, it be, so if it were if we had five of us there, that that would be manageable. Yeah. Yeah. Could be. Could be. Yeah. Different ways of doing it. Um, I also am hoping, and I I just sent a, an email to uh, Steve and and uh, and also Ann Raymond. Um, to get together again so we can go over exactly what the Unionville Museum has planned. And I am hoping that I will be able to have um, Rich Higley there, who's chief of the Tungsus Hose Fire to, well, Tungsus Hose Company. They don't call it fire department. <laughs> um, and I, he said that he will probably have someone or people there for the tour. So I, I said that I would, you know, once we were a little bit further along in April, I would contact him. So hopefully I'll be able to contact him next week and set that up. The old um, engine is in there. I don't know if they'll want to open it up for people to see or not. But I know people always like to come out to see the old fire engines. That, and that is there. And it's also, we have to kind of nail down where we'll set up. Um, when Steve and I went out for the walk, we thought that there was an area just on the side of um, Tunks's Hose where we could set up a table. But Steve also said that he thought that property was privately owned. I don't know yeah. anything about, it's right off the cemetery. Oh. It's where the old church was, the old Episcopal church. Um, yeah. Flat that's, that's actually in our historic district as that's well. Historic it is. Yeah. It is part of the... Okay, yeah, so then that's not a problem. You people no. will give us permission to use it. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So when you so say... That, set, when you sorry. say set up, what do you... What do you... Um, uh, well, I thought we'd have a table and I the see. brochures okay. that we're printing, yeah. Okay. And then if we, you know, people who want to go on a guided tour would have a place to, you know, for us to get together. Okay. I thought another okay. option could be to meet at the museum. Uh, there's more parking. That's a long walk. Yeah, it would be a long walk. Yeah. I don't... See, I love it, and I could do the walk, but I don't think most people would want to walk from the museum to the um, to Lovely Street and then up Lovely Street. I was just thinking about parking. Parking uh, is better near George's Plaza. Yeah. Sorry, George. Well, yeah. So, okay. A few years ago, we did a Lovely Street walking tour, and we did Farmington Avenue too, and we met. In front of Claudia, uh, the dog yeah. of the bank. Right, okay, yeah. yeah. And yeah. People, people just, they parked over at Stop and Shop. They right. parked yeah. here. It was a Sunday afternoon, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we walked, we did, we walked up Lovely Street and then came back down and crossed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and we did, we talked about Brooks Commons, but from on this side of the street, and we continued. Yeah. Down and we went down to Penny Park and unless the yeah. unless the Masons are doing something that uh, afternoon, no? no okay. But it will be open because it's a Saturday. Uh, um, June eleventh is a Sunday. 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 It's a Sunday, Sunday so okay. Claudette, we're okay. And people can also park at Stop and Shop. I p I think most of the people who'll be going on this will probably be familiar with the area. And have an idea where to park. Is the hours the same as the Unionville Museum? So it's yes. from two to four. Yeah. So the tour, so we'll be doing the, the tours from two to four. Yeah. I would say I'm two. I would say two thirty to three thirty. Okay. So how how many tours would you like to send out? I was liking to do three Sunday and three Wednesday. Every oh. other. Every other. So one Sunday, you know, at the, the beginning, the eleventh. And then the following week, it would be on the Wednesday. So uh, June 11th, June 25th, and July 9th are the three Sundays alternating. 
-hmm. and then three Wednesdays, June 21st, July 5th, and July 19th. You think the whole town is coming? 2.30 to 3.30. I would do one event, and then we can... Work from there, and, and then... Yeah, we'll promote yeah. Promote self-guided. Promote yeah. self-guided and in yeah. concert with the Unionville Museum. You're not, you're not going to get the support for doing multiple. I, I'd pick one day and, and go with it. Yeah. Or have a rain date if you want, but... Yeah, I would, I would, that's what I would do. I, I would say if we want to assist the museum in... Um, drawing traffic well, to the exhibit, it would be better to start the tour at the museum. And we could come up with a very engaging um, narrative from the museum to the base of Lovely Street. That's not a problem. Um, and, I, and I think the people who would go on this tour, we would make sure that there was, you know, uh, it was it's a good walking experience. It's so a, where you can walk in short shoes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Under a month, red. Uh, What's that, is, right on the Under app it mile. says it's point, point 0.8 miles, but it's 82 minutes if you're including all the text. So that that was the other reason I was thinking about circling back to that discussion about maybe we're posted, at, you know, posted at the the five properties, and that's the focus to cut that 82 minutes down. But you you still walk the the entire tour with your group. But the 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 text that's read or the the focus yeah. are the five properties. Yeah, themselves. I don't I don't think that we would stand in front of each house and read all the architectural and yeah. yeah mm -hmm. I think we would just even if even if mm -hmm. we did each house, we would just hit the highlights. This is a Queen Anne and the description of what makes it a Queen Anne and that kind of thing. And yeah. it was owned by so and so and. There are a couple of stories that are a little bit more interesting, having to do with the Civil War and that kind of thing, and we can pick up on on that. I, but the you know some of the historical information is there, so people can pick up on that and certainly continue with research. Well, and somebody can always lollygag, right? And right. if they're interested, read on a particular one right. and catch up with right. the group or whatever. Right. That's kind of the right. I guess the plus plus of that having the app. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so who do we used to have a sign up uh the last one what, do you remember what yeah. we used uh, you know i did that and what did i use it was something i thought we used sign up genius for it last time did we it was very right. easy and i yeah. it gave us everything we needed and it was, we didn't pay anything it was cheap um <laughs> I'll have to. I'll try to remember I what remember, that is. I remember. Yeah. Sign up, genius. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can choose that. Uh, we'll also need people. Uh, the eleventh, um, the week before, to help at the museum itself. Um, to up. help them put the displays together. Do you know what days those will be, Barbara? I'm not sure the days. That's what I'm hoping to actually firm up of, exactly week what of days. June fourth through the tenth, the week you know, the week before. Okay. Uh, the actual opening, which is on Sunday the eleventh. So. So are they closed then? That um, whole week, you know, they don't open on Wednesday that week because they're putting things together. I'm not sure about that. I, I don't know. Probably, probably yeah, yeah. yeah. If yeah. if it's if it's in progress, if it's not set up yeah it'll be closed and then we yeah. have access uh, there's a number of neighbors of mine that have keys patty Leboutier, tim Leboutier, and um uh kelly probably knows them right kelly um and uh my girlfriend has keys um so we're gonna be in there burning the midnight i don't want to know what you use it for <laughs> You know, like night at the museum, <laughs> uh -huh. a sleepover. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, do you want to? Who would? I mean, do you, uh, why don't we? Why don't you assemble a list of people who are willing to help with that, and you could send okay. them times when you'll be in there working on it. I, I'm happy right. to help that week anytime. Put me on the okay. list. 
All right, I will put you on the list. I will send out an email and and find out exactly what times they want us to be there. Yeah, that might be easier to know dates dates and times, and then people can check the schedule. Right. So Uh, do you do you also need people to be tour guides on June eleventh? For the walking well, tour? Well, I was hoping that there'd be a few yeah. of us there. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Be good to have and how do we, three. how do we, I haven't paid attention to the advertising at all, but I guess we're close enough. We certainly want people to show up. How do yeah. we do that? Is there? Um, well, I, yeah, so we talked about uh, sending this out through the town, actually, uh, getting it on the website, sending it through the, um, what's the, um, economic ever, yeah, so yeah economic development it. that's right through Rosa Ponte um, so we we want to have a description we want to talk about what it is the the who's doing it Unionville Museum and the historic district what people can expect to enjoy and where they should sign up so um, it'll also be pushed with the museum's press releases you know when they announce their exhibit and what's included in the exhibit and the tour, you know, would, would be also great uh, okay. promoted as well. Jan, Shannon, um, is there going to be a town newsletter before um, before the tour that we could add it to as well? Probably not. No. Because the spring newsletter is gone and the oh, summer one. I just one, got it. Yeah. 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 The summer so one will the, be after. No, the yeah. summer one will be after. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do we want to promote the app piece prior to that day, or do we want to hold on that and have, I'm thinking QR code for the app, um, and do we want to just save that for that day so that we're still encouraging folks to come out to the museum? Hmm. I, I would say no. I think the people who want to come out, take a tour and see the exhibit, We'll do that whether they have the app for the online, you know, uh, tour or not. I think we could okay. send it out at the same time. I think so we'd have I'll generate the power a, to send it yeah, out. Right, to our code. code. We can include with the advertising as well. Right, so people can do that. Another volunteer opportunity for uh, historic district commission members would be to also act like docents to sort of. Uh, supplement the museum's docents and we're going to have our own display panels and our own table to be able to uh promote ourselves and explain ourselves what the historic district is about we should have a mission statement uh brochures and on the display panels behind the table we might also want to uh, highlight other historic districts uh, neighborhoods and such, uh, other virtual tours. So they're open Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, uh, two to four. And uh, it'd be nice to have, if you look at those days during that period of June 11th to July 16th, um, try to think about what days you might be willing to drop by there. And it'd be nice to have one or two people, backups, so on and so forth. So they're setting up a table specifically for us? We're going to be setting up a table specifically for us. But they know that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't aware of that. So, all right. Okay. Yeah, we have we have somewhere. Shannon and I were just looking at each other because we don't remember <laughs> where. At least you may know. We have a map with, that includes all of the uh, historic properties and districts. We've and we have a banner. Yeah. Yeah, we need a new the print. Banner. We we need a new print of the map. So it's really gotten oh, yeah. beaten up. But we, we just mounted we it on the phone core and it lasted us years. Um yeah. so a new yeah, map we've got it. we've got this stuff someplace. Where is it? Is in um we've got a banner that you did for the table. We actually have all this material. We just have to remember where we put it. Yeah. Um, uh, it'd be good to have <laughs> It'd be good to have the COA application so people can yes. look at them. Um, yes. Jerry had the banner. 
uh, as, much, back, as much information as we can to inform people and and let them know that we're not that scary you know yeah. <laughs> right we have a um, pretty oh, scary know. reputation <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm willing to work on that if someone wants to work with me. I, a lot the the materials there. We just have to make copies and make sure we get it all together. Yeah, but it's but also nice to be there in person. Somewhere in town hall. Most say the material is there. By that yeah. you mean somewhere in town hall. I, yeah, okay. I think it is. I think it is. Um, also, that stuff's electronic. Like we've got, you know, mm -hmm. what to need for the COA, the COA application, yeah. got copies of the guidelines, all that. So, um, it, yeah, Lisa, we can get that, you yeah, know, we'll if you that. want, and you can just do a quick review, and then we just need to decide how many copies of the stuff that right. we want. Yeah, we right. actually did this before. We got everything on online at uh -huh. the town. Shannon, you did that. Um, I think it's when we, I've forgotten, we had a various activities going on, but all that material is uh -huh. there. Um, are any of you interested in volunteering to, to man that table on June 11th or other open days? I do. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure I'll be. Yeah. I yeah, could Several do. days. Yeah. Um, I think, um, Kelly and Rachel, this is a great opportunity for, if you can, to be there at that table um, with a seasoned commission member and it's your chance to ask tons of questions, yeah, go through the material and um, <laughs> <laughs> kind of an orientation. Um, yeah. Okay, so I, let me just get something clear. The publicity, do I need to write something up? Is so that? It would be helpful because I don't, and I don't okay. know if Sarah's got enough yeah. Okay, so all right. Basically a press, like a uh, one paragraph press release, right? Okay. Basically the who, what, when, where, why okay. of all right. this. And uh, whatever, Steve, Lisa, take a look at it, make sure everybody's on board okay. with, uh, with it. And then we can help. It can get pushed through Everbridge. It can go to Rose Ponte, so it gets pushed on Explore Farmington. That's what I was trying to think um, of. Obviously, then it can okay. get shared with the museum, so the museum has it for any of their items. And then, and quite honestly, it can hit Facebook and Unionville, the Unionville. Oh, that's right, Unionville Talks stuff. Yeah. Okay. So those can all Okay. Get all right. So I will work on that tomorrow. Try to. Okay. Yeah. But it's basically okay. just a, a blurb of, yeah, like if okay. you're, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll, I can create the sign up genius for it oh, for, so we know how many people are looking to do the tour. Right. Um, you can I just, put the link long, to the sign up genius in the advertisement. It's a, right. It, I think confirmation on how we're, the format of how we're going to do the tour, though, would be helpful to have in the sign up genius. Right. Okay. So like the, the times we're going to run it. How are we going to do like every half hour or um, I'm just thinking that those are the yeah, kind of yeah. things we want to make sure mm -hmm. in the sign of genius okay. that's also where we're going to put we can put you know the the distance the estimated distance in time so that folks know and right. can, what, they're can make that, what they're committing to right yeah that, okay that I think you know uh, I keep saying we're going to do this tour again, but I think Steve and I have to get together and then walk as if we're giving the tour okay. and yeah. what yeah. things pop out that we definitely want to highlight, not highlight, see what's happened to this house, wasn't in the district, not taken care of, it's the same as that house, but there are a couple of those um, things that we might find really interesting that we want to highlight and get an idea of how long it actually takes. So. When are you free, Steve? <laughs> uh, tomorrow, tomorrow after twelve, or sometime this weekend, or really, a pretty flexible. Tomorrow after twelve. It's gonna be cooler next week. <laughs> gonna be, yeah, we'll yeah. be back to winter again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the only the other uh, thing we need to try to calculate and consider are costs. Uh, the museum isn't going to foot the bill entirely. They'll share the bill with printing, you know, developing photocopies, panels, setting up these panels, uh, UPS store costs. Um, uh, Ann Raymond is really good with that. And she's 
has good relationships with local mm -hmm. printers uh, and companies. But I'm just wondering what kind of monies we might be able to tap into. I I'm, I, I know it's going to be under a thousand. Um, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> Shannon is going what? Oh, printing, yeah, printing I, I didn't what? realize. So is this not? Are you talking about exhibit costs, or are you talking yes. about the exhibit? Oh, costs. I yeah. didn't realize that they expected us to share the cost of the exhibit. They're um, encouraging us to share the. Oh, yeah, right, right. we don't. I don't. We don't have much of a budget, money. do we, Shannon? I. I don't think I can get authorization for that, period. Yeah. Like, I think we can get authorization for the printing of the Unionville Historic Museum or the Unionville Historic District articles, right? So I can print our walking tour. I can print the all our materials that we want on the table for, but there is not a mechanism for me that I'm aware of for authorizing an expenditure to the Unionville Museum. Mm -hmm. There's okay. already been a sizable expenditure to the Unionville Museum for the renovations that they did last year. Mm -hmm. right. And a lot of that came from, there was some museum budget, but I can assure you there was town budget that went to that. Yeah. So, sure. Okay. Um, well, not, I, I don't think I could, I wouldn't even, yeah, no. Okay. So our printing costs, you know, the stuff that we're doing, absolutely. Good. Good to know. All right. Well, that yeah, might be. In all of our discussions with them, I know that this has gone back and forth, but we've never actually he heard what a price is. So yeah. um, it is their display. I mean, they are. They are putting it on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there we've got a couple of questions here at the table. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I was just wondering if we do the sign up genius, do we have to do we have to worry anything about liability? Like you're signing up for this and you're at your own risk. I just noticed yeah. that the app said that when you join the app, you're at your own risk. That's why I asked yeah. the question. Yeah, and we did this last time. I checked in with Joe yeah. Sweatkey. Um, if it's a town event. I think it's covered under the town's general Perfect. liability, but right. I'll double check and we'll pull an event permit. Right. So I made a note about event permit, um, and then I can ask uh, Joe about the um, insurance. Yeah, and you know, it's a good yeah. reminder. And we we will we will make note several times that you need to be a good walker to go on this. Yeah, for yeah. Not, not for it's anything in down. wheels. No, it's it's not that as much as the condition of the sidewalk. Yeah. We had similar questions. So the last time we did a walking tour, we actually did uh, home tours as well. Yeah. Um, and so the same thing came up with what about the homeowners and their liability? And and it was covered under the event the event if you, permit. At if that you point. were around, you could have gone through Matt's house. Yeah. He would give you a great tour. You can't do that now. <laughs> <laughs> well, talk to him then. Um, the other thing I was just thinking about when you're talking about promotion is, mm -hmm. um, and if you hook up with Patia, they're probably might be doing it, but like the yeah. patch, Farmington patch. Mm -hmm. you know, um, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they usually then they'll do local community events. They usually start right. that one. Um, yeah. And I was trying to remember we did an exhibit a few years ago at the museum, but I think. We did, we brought, we did it as a basketball team, so we did it in the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Court, but that was very different. Oh, that was great. But, but yeah. you know, I don't know. So that's why I would, I'm agreeing that it seems like this is more of a museum event. Yeah. Mm -hmm. More than us. I don't know what is going to go on that table, what we, what you need, because that's kind of a. But that's really just our literature. Right. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, it's not, we're not going to be creating anything new on the, we may. Sign up it was, right. It was yeah. on a card yeah. table. Right, yeah. right. And really, uh, it fits on. We got a, those books. We got those little green I'm books. I'm not sure we've got many more of those left. Quite honestly. No. What I had left, I gave to you, and there was only maybe 25 at that point. Yeah. So I've got one in my those, office. Those but. would be in Garrett's office mm -hmm. somewhere. All right. Okay. All right. I'll work on the news release and. Um, I guess I have to sweet talk Patty about the money. June 11th, so the, the press release, so we're in April, 
Yeah. yeah. So we need yeah. a press release right away. So no, well you're good. So one month. Okay. I would think you would want it by May 11th. Okay. For the event on June 11th. Okay. Okay. And you're not going to start promoting it now. Find out what Patty's so. timeline is, because that's what you want to loop into anyway, right? Right. I agree. Yeah. Good. Is there anything else, Stephen, Barbara? It's Sounds like it's no. I, I think longer. that's it. Unless anyone has questions for Steve or me, and sounds like it's coming together beautifully. Okay. And while Steve is walking around, he'll be looking for ideas for his house. <laughs> you can go down to 1761 Farmington Avenue and check out all the work. Yeah, yeah, do. Yes, do. Maybe you don't, maybe you don't want to dig up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that sounds terrific. I'm very excited about that. Um, very oh, good. I got, a, I got a question for Steve. Yeah. Um, about um, 100 Lovely Street, mm -hmm. the brown house on the corner, Merrimack. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Colonial um, Revival. Patty Labuse, Patty Berthier came up to me in, in Stop and Shop, and she said that those people are be very interested in the historic, um, possibly even joining the yeah. district. Yes, I've been Have talking you to them. Approach them. That's my yeah. question. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Gianfranco and Sarah. Yes, um, they're museum board members. Uh, oh. she, she's trained in museum and archival conservation work. Um, I'm not exactly sure what he does uh, for a living, but um, I have not ask them the direct question um but i have a feeling that yes they will join mm. do you have the paperwork for them i do yeah he has all the yeah, paperwork that's what i thought um if you would possibly <laughs> drop it off at the house or something yeah that's a good idea very good idea you know okay. they're my Thank neighbors you. yeah yeah they're good people they're really good people right she works at the Connecticut Historical Society. So, yeah. Oh, wow. That should, yeah. All right. So I will. Definitely. Be Thank you, Bob. Yeah, and just, house. I just want to remind everybody that um, our June 11 program is, the purpose of it is to educate people about architecture and history through the fun of learning about it. But the other purpose of it is to encourage people to join the historic district. Um, so study your manual, um, talk to people, uh, make sure they know what the historic district is all about and the fact that we welcome voluntary, um, uh, you know, people to volunteer to include their properties. So just, just want to remind you about that. Help Steve out. He can't be the only person asking people to join. <laughs> we all need to be doing that. Um, we're man the table and we could be part it. of the walking tour. <laughs> yes, excellent. That's absolutely right. <laughs> um, this is great. This is exciting. Very exciting. Isn't it great to be doing something together as a group? <laughs> Which is wonderful. Yeah. It is. So we're, we're, let me just, we are going to be starting at the museum. That's what every, that's what the consensus is. Okay. I think that's All the right. best way to go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think that's the best way to go. Yeah. So. Right. All right. Well, call on us, Stephen, uh, Barbara, you're doing a great job, but please call on us uh, for help or if you would like to offload a project or a piece of this, please uh, reach out. Yeah. Okay. Sign up for volunteerism. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just volunteer for everything. Good. All right. Is there any other business that any commissioners would like to bring forward to the group? Shannon, do you have anything for us that uh, you think we should be informed of? I think so. I think uh, we're going to meet here next month. Uh, well, that's entirely up to you folks. If you want to do a hybrid, continue with a hybrid platform, then you certainly can. And that's, so that's entire. I, TPZ has moved. It's a lot easier for you that the IT for TPZ is a night 
well, not a nightmare. It's heavy lift. It's not a nightmare. Mm. Um, <laughs> but this is uh, this is easier because you've got the you know the the. Uh, uh, the, you can do it right here around the conference table, yeah. right? It's a, it's a, it's less formal, and the attendance is right. such that you can do it around the conference table, right. and it's manageable. Um, so, yeah, that's entirely up to you. So, okay. it's May fourth. It's May fourth. There you go. I straighten my calendar out now. <laughs> <laughs> I know that was a tricky one. <laughs> If you do, I mean, it would be good to know because we'll have to do, like the legal notices should all notice that it's hybrid and all that. So is that the intent that we're... I mean, personally, I like getting together for a meeting. <laughs> but you have to, everyone has to feel comfortable with it. Yeah. Madam, I, I just have to say that for May 4th, I have to dial in again. Um, I won't be in Connecticut, so I apologize. I also love to meet around a table with people, but. Um, okay, but you're good if we, so we can shift then to hybrid then and just. Yeah. Okay. That's great. It offers, you know, still mm -hmm. uh, any member, if you've got a conflict or whatever, child care, or whatever the situation that, you know, you can zoom in too. Bring your children. Um, bring your children. <laughs> um, so you, you know, it offers uh, offers some flexibility. So okay, I will make sure Garrett uh, is aware. Great, thank you, Shannon. It was good to see you around the table, Shannon. It's nice to have you back. Garrett is yeah. great. It was nice to see you. Um, yeah. All right, I will entertain a motion to adjourn our meeting. If someone would so move. Move. Thank you. And a second. I second. <laughs> all right. All in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Nays. No, no abstentions. We will see each other May 4th. Uh, and uh, great meeting. Thank you. Thank you.